Now before we get started, this week's sponsor is eTech City. You know them for making the number one fitness scale on Amazon. For those that have been looking for the right timing to kickstart their fitness goals, eTech City's 90 day fitness challenge is the perfect opportunity to get started and also win prizes. All you need to do is sign up at the link below and tag eTech City on Instagram or Facebook with a photo of your current progress and contest tags. And if you happen to own an eTech City HR Smart Fitness Scale, Smart Scale, post your progress over the course of six weeks for a chance at the grand prize. Link to the contest below and on to the breakdown. In this video, I break down my sparring session with Aaron Wilson, the current super featherweight WBC Muay Thai champion. So I faked a right knee and into my left kick here, but missed, turning my back to Aaron. So from here, I turn to look at Aaron and into my spinning back kick. Aaron lifts his right knee to fake a teep. You can see I dropped my left hand because I thought he was going to kick the body, and he turns it into a teep to the thigh. Here's a basic catch to the right roundhouse kick, clear the leg, and fire back with the same kick. Here I hand trapped Aaron's lead hand and into my cross, but he defends by catching with his free hand, so I follow up with an inside low kick. Always follow up with a low kick. Aaron circles to my left, so I stepped into the pivoted position with my lead foot, turned clockwise, and I know my eyes look closed, but I looked at my target first and into my spinning back kick. Aaron gets me with a low kick, so I leave my leg there again to bait him, and as he kicks a second time, I try to time it with a spinning back fist, but I missed. Another nice thigh teep by Aaron. You'll see he gets me quite a bit with this in this sparring session with pinpoint accuracy. So I throw my body kick and Aaron catches it. So I follow it with my Superman cross because Aaron had time to get a good catch and grip of my leg. I couldn't just wiggle it out. So watch how I turn my hips over pointing my knee downwards and bounce my shin off of his body to free my leg. Here I faked my low kick, spun into my spinning back fist, followed up with my cross, landed my double step low kick. Aaron goes for a lunging teep, which I brushed it and threw my hook as I step forward with my rear foot, followed by another step forward to close the distance and into my low kick. And a nice low kick by Aaron. Aaron goes for a body punch and I catch him with the pullback cross over top of his lead hand. Aaron counters my cross with a left body kick and I counter his counter by kicking under to his standing leg. Here I throw my right body kick and Aaron catches again. This time I saw the catch coming early enough so I was able to immediately churn my shin vertical and slide my leg free. Here I pop the jab to blur Aaron's vision or to get him to shell up and into my side kick. Then I chamber the same leg to fake and into my jab. Another jab to side kick. Then I continue to throw my side kick but defensively. Aaron catches my last side kick here and pulls me into a flying knee. Then clinches me, collar ties and into bicep control. Lands a nice knee then sweeps me by turning my upper body to his left as he bumps my knee. Aaron moves forward at me with a jab. So I switch my stance to load up my left leg, hand trapping his jabbing hand and collar tying with my other hand. Then I pull him in as I throw my switch knee. With my right hand still trapping his left hand, nothing is blocking my hand to his face. He moves forward again so I intercept him with a lead teep. Everyone's been asking me to throw more teeps so here you guys go. And that's the end of round one. Round two, Aaron gets into my pocket with the body cross to liver hook. So I framed off his neck to create space and into my inside low kick. Aaron misses his inside low kick but turns it into a thigh teep. Keeping away from my hook, to close the distance, I pushed off my lead foot and into my jumping roundhouse kick. And into my double low kicks. Aaron gets me back with a good low kick. Then Aaron catches my left kick, could have swept me, but he lets go and throws his flying knee. So I get him back with one. Aaron continues to chop my leg. I throw my left kick to set up my next combination. Left kick to cross, which Aaron leans back to defend, and I land the low kick. A good body cross by Aaron here, and I retaliate with a foot sweep attempt to cross to left kick. Aaron fakes the right teep and into his cross the left body kick, in which I undercut, clear the leg, and into my body cross, head hook to low kick combination. And I throw the same combination here. Left kick, dropped down into my cross, but this time I followed up with the inside low kick. And here's a Peter Yan combination. I threw my left hook as I stepped my rear foot forward into the pivoted position to load up my left leg and into my left body kick. And right into my favorite running hip sweep. I stepped forward with my rear foot, followed by another step with my lead foot. Then I stepped my right leg behind Aaron as I shot my arm across his chest and drove my hips forward for the sweep. Another sneaky thigh teep by Aaron. 
Then I shuffled my rear foot forward into the pivoted position and into my lunging side kick. I go for the outside foot sweep, failed but off balanced Aaron so I followed up with my usual cross to low kick. And this is why you should always take your head off center line when punching and why you should always follow up with the low kick. Aaron counters my cross with the inside low kick but he doubles his kick so I kicked under to his standing leg. I undercatch Aaron's left kick again but this time into a fake kick to Superman cross followed by my double step low kick. Aaron gets me back with a side kick to the thigh and finishes the round with a hook to low kick combination. And here is round 3. So I've had many comments saying that they love the breakdown style with the slow motion replays with pause frames and spotlighting the techniques but I've also had comments saying that they dislike it and they want to see straight sparring action. So I've decided to split this video to try to please both crowds, two rounds of breakdowns and two rounds of straight action. So as usual guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. And if you really want to support my work, please send me a super thanks by hitting that donation button below. I'll see you next time. Now before you guys go, for those that don't have a scale yet, use my code below for 30% off on their direct site.